everyone, it's Robin the Artsy Bohemian coming to you from my studio in Los Angeles, California. This is my second time filming this. Luckily, it is a short and sweet um, tutorial. So um, I'm going to show you today uh, how to make these adorable thimble ornaments. You can also hang them on a chain if you wanted to uh, make it into a necklace. So you're going to need a thimble, um, a little tree, and some glue, and I'll tell you the rest as we go along here. So, um, you can use newer ones and then rust them if you want, if you want that rusty look. Um, I happen to have a few old ones, and this one uh, is not as decorated, but I kind of like that rustic look. And this one is very interesting. It's these types of thimbles that don't have... A bottom and I got them from a flea market just because I thought they'd make a good tassel um, top uh, but if you turn them upside down they make a good little pot for your tree and then what I did for this one is I pushed a, a felt felted ball down glued it and then added and inserted a um, head pin and added a charm on this so um, I'm going to show you how to do the little handle on here and yeah so uh, they're so cute you can tell from my series that I like little things so I have collected them for quite a while I'm just gonna keep this like this because it's still drying so um, whatever uh, thimble you're going to use make sure that your tree fits in it if your tree goes down too far like on this one is really big you're going to stuff it with a little bit of tissue or you know a little paper towel a little wad of paper towel and make it so that it fits and then um, then we'll you're going to glue it so for this one since this one is so small um, it actually just fits right on there it's kind of tight I think I was going to do a bigger one. I guess not. Um, but we're still going to glue this down in there. So it'll look like this. The first what you want to do is poke holes um, on either side. And you should have, um, if you don't have a punch like this for, usually you can get these at the hobby store like Michael's I think sells them. It's a 16th inch hole punch for metal. Um, you might be able to, depending how hard your, especially the newer ones, I think the newer ones aren't as hard. Um, you might be able to hammer it or, or drill a hole on either side. This one's cute because it has the number nine on it. I guess that must mean something. I don't like wearing thimbles, but um, I think they're so cute. So I'm going to punch a hole on one side. I think I'm going to make sure that the nine shows on the back. Oh, this one's really hard. And there's usually some kind of tail, but there isn't on this one. And then to make sure you, it's centered, you're going to take a Sharpie and um, mark where you're going to punch the other hole. <laughs> and you guys are going to love this because it's a quick project. I know you guys probably have thimbles. And they're not they're not hard to find if you don't. You can buy a whole pack of them usually at the 99 cent store. And then you can paint them if you wanted to, if you don't like the color. Okay, I'm just going to, um, I think I'm still going to put a little bit of tissue down there, some paper towel, just so it has something to stick to. The bottom of the, the tree has something to stick to. And before that, I do that, I'm going to put some hot glue down there. So before I even do all that, I'm going to make the wire handle. It's going to take some uh, thinner gauge wire. This is about a 24 gauge, and I've patinaed it. It's a uh, brass wire, 
and just make a handle. If you don't know how to do any wire work, it, you can just make it primitive and kind of twist it on itself. I'm going to make mine a little bit more fancy. Still going to make it look a little bit more primitive. Thanks for all your sweet comments, you guys. I'm glad you're enjoying the tutorials and the 12 days of Christmas. It's coming to an end this Saturday. And then you're gonna cut it um, and give yourself about an inch or two extra just to make sure you have enough clearance on your tree. And I just realized something too, because there's wire here, um, I didn't have to worry about it this on this one because they were a little bit loose and this one's pretty tight. So you have to kind of take that into consideration. I might have to chop some of it off. In my last video, the first video that didn't record properly, I did mention that, but I'm kind of in a hurry now, <laughs> trying to get this done. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this. Oh, yeah, maybe. I'm kind of destroying my little tree. I think I'm just going to do this one because it's not working on that. So we'll try that all over again. This will just be for something else. Yeah, so make sure you have enough room for your wire. Oh, huh, there's two of them there. This one for sure has enough room in it. Put a little tissue in there. Glue on metal is hot. Okay, one more time. And there's quite a bit of room in there still, so I'm going to fill it up with some uh, mica, probably.
So you have your little handle there. And we're going to glue the tree in. And I'm going to use some mica. just cute like that so darn cute I'm gonna put a word on here before I put the mica in because I'm gonna use regular glue and then we'll be ready and set and you can decorate however you want you can do whatever you want with it you can whip out a bunch of these ones if you made a bunch of these for your friends and your family I think they'd love them so on this one, I, oh, I thought I was going to do Noel. I thought I had a Noel. So just print out words. I just type a bunch of words on paper and I don't know what font I used or what size. You have to kind of um, experiment on your own. Um, that's kind of what I do is I'll, I'll print a couple and see if it's the size I like and then I'll make, a, you know, quite a few. See, oh, here it is. So I'm just going to cut it out. And I cut it really pretty close to the word. And then I'm going to... Um, uh, outline it with a little bit of black <clears throat> a black felt tip pen just to make it stand out a little bit more and then I glue it down with um, glossy accents so I'm just gonna take my pen and outline it just on the edges. This, these tiny little details make a difference. It's worth the extra minute that it takes to do it. And then I'm gonna put a little glue on this pen kind of spread it on there. Those of you who've used this glue know it's kind of, it's super sticky. And it plugs up. Then I'm just going to add a little mica and you're done. I might put a star in it or do something else. I'm not sure. Put beads on it if you want. Oh, okay. Now it can, comes out. Yeah, that's nice. And I think you guys know that I'm selling everything that I make and more um, in my Etsy store. It started yesterday. And thank you for those of you who bought things. The link is down below in the description.
These are real mica flakes and I love how chunky they are. I might actually put some on the tree. So this is, uh, there's no place on here of where I got it. So you could just search, I'm sure you can find it. And don't get the plastic ones, get the real, the real mica. It makes a difference. I, I have the, the fake stuff and it, it's kind of ugly, I think, in my opinion. I am going to do a paper project. I almost did it today, but I was kind of running out of time and I needed to do a quicker project today. Um, it's going to be super cute and kind of shabby chic and something that we could all use. So I know a lot of you who follow me are into the paper arts um, and I love paper arts too, but it's been a nice little break to um, do other things that I love to do. All right, see how cute? I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you 